Jeep India has launched a top of the line and fully loaded variant called the Limited Plus for the Compass. The Limited Plus will be available with a petrol two wheel drive automatic or a diesel two wheel drive and four wheel drive manual. Prices for the Jeep Compass Limited Plus variant start at 21 lakh 7000 rupees for the diesel 4x2 manual. The 4x2 petrol automatic is priced at 21 lakh 41000 rupees while the 4x4 diesel manual is priced at 22 lakh 85000 rupees. The new variant gets a massive panoramic sunroof, 18 inch wheels in a shade of black and polished aluminium. There's also a brand new U Connect infotainment setup with a new 8.4 inch touchscreen infotainment system. It also comes with automatic headlamps, automatic rain sensing wipers and an auto dimming rear view mirror. On the safety front, the Jeep Compass Limited Plus gets 6 airbags as standard. Mercedes-Benz India has launched the all-new C-Class. The car will only be available in the diesel engine for now and there's no petrol on offer. Prices for the car start at 40 lakh rupees and go all the way up to 48 lakh 50,000 rupees. The company has launched two variants of the C220D and one variant of the C300D. The C220D is powered by a 2 litre diesel engine making 192 brake horsepower and 400 newton meters of torque. The C300D is the more powerful version, in fact, the most powerful diesel car in that segment. It churns out 241 brake horsepower and 500 newton meters of peak torque. It's capable of going from 0 to 100 km per hour in just 5.9 seconds. Both these engines are BS6 ready. The car also comes with a pair of new LED headlamps, LED daytime running lights and a new front bumper. The profile features a set of new alloy wheels and slightly revised ORVMs. While towards the rear, the car comes with a pair of new LED tail lamps. The new C-Class takes on the likes of the BMW 3 Series, the Audi A4 and even the Jaguar XE. We see our customers have a very, very strong preference for diesel. That's why we are focusing so much, focusing so much on diesel. That's why we are launching all diesels as BS6 only. And so we are typically following a staggered approach, uh, launch approach. Um, Petrol version is bound to come, yes, of course, um, but it, at this uh, day it was important for us uh, to focus on the diesel only. And uh, we are very, I mean, proudly we can say that our diesels are very, very clean and uh, on BS6 levels um, there is no significant difference between the diesel and the petrol. And um, it is important for us to give uh, the consumers uh, the best possible diesel technology which matches um, the, the ongoing preference in India uh, for diesel engines. The new generation Suzuki Jimny was crash tested by Global NCAP and it has received a 3 star rating out of a possible 5. The off roader scored 73% in adult occupant protection, while child occupant protection received an 84% score. The safety assist on the Jimny stood at 50%, while vulnerability of users was scored at 52%. The crash test observed that the driver side airbag didn't inflate with enough pressure to stop the head from coming in contact with the steering wheel rim. Furthermore, the front seats offered only marginal whiplash protection in case of a rear impact. Datsun is all set to roll out the Go and Go Plus facelift in India. The cars will be launched in the first week of October. Up front, both the Go and the Go Plus come with similar design and styling and we expect the facelift to come with a revised front grille, restyled headlamps and even a new front bumper. It is likely that the car will come with LED daytime running lamps as well, something similar to what we've seen on the Ready Go. It's also likely to get additional features like new ORVMs with integrated turn lights, alloy wheels and even new LED tail lamps. It's likely that the cars will come with a bunch of new features and updates, but the engine options will continue to remain the same. If you like that video, you've got to subscribe to our channel. We keep things nice and simple and yet very comprehensive just for you.